Hey, in this video, I'm gonna cover what is the right choice for your first Festool router. So, instead of being asked a lot of questions, I want to do this in a couple different categories. Horsepower and collet size. So what that'll do is that'll create the funnel of your choice to what's probably your best choice for your first Festool router. Now, early on I learned that I was given, uh, uh, how do you say, a statistic or a stat that because I was asking what horsepower is this, what horsepower, what horsepower, what horsepower, because it's all dependent on the application. You want to pick the right one. So there's certain areas in routers where you have a trim router, which is usually about a horsepower. You have a horse and a half or horse and three quarter. You have two and a half, two and three quarter, and then you jump up to your three and a quarter, three and a half routers. Okay, so I asked, what does that equate to in watts? Now when you look at MFK 700, OF 1010, OF 1400, and OF 2200, those are the watts, that's the maximum watt output. So I asked the question, what is that converted to horsepower? And I was given just a quick number, 746 watts equals, or roughly equals one horsepower. So when you're doing the math, there's your horse and a half, there's your two and a half, and there's your three and a quarter. 2200, 740 divided by 746. So that is the categories of routers. Now it's all about application. You, you're thinking, okay, um, what am I gonna use it for the majority of the time? Well, think about it. You probably have a lot of router bits out there, right? And you gotta go, hmm, I have quarter inch shank and half inch shank. So I'm gonna break it down even simpler and create that funnel. The MFK 700, which is your trim router, uh, basically designed for you know maybe running grooves with a parallel edge guide uh, it's light in weight it's small easy to handle and it takes a quarter inch and eight millimeter collet the 1010 your horse and a half it takes a quarter inch and eight millimeter collet so guess what they take the same collets that's a similarity between these two and it uses the same 19 millimeter wrench. Now when we go over here to the 1400 and 2200, okay, they both take a quarter inch, eight millimeter, half inch shank. So you're going, hmm, I can run those bigger profiles. Now let's think about a little bit of application on this. When I flip the 1400 over, you're gonna see this dimension in here. And I'm just gonna do a rough, you can look this up online on the, the websites. But this gives you, I would never put more than like a, a 50 millimeter diameter bit in there. Okay, so think about those half inch shank bits you got. And then when I flip over the 2200, you have this large aperture here. And usually you could put in there about a 75 millimeter or three inch bit, maybe even 80 millimeter diameter bit. So I just wanted to point that out because that may help you in your choice. The nice thing is, is that funnel is created, and I will tell you right now, this is probably one of the top Festool routers out there, the 1400, because of the wicked good power on it, and it takes all the collets. Oh, I forgot to mention, the uh, 2200 and 1400 share collets, but also the same wrench. So the last thing I'm gonna mention is application. Okay, so if someone would say, well, I want that best overall, and you'll see why this fits in there, the 1400. So when we look at the MFK, and it also had, comes with a 1.5 degree, perfect for trim and edge banding. This is a great addition for your contour of the edge bander. Um, when somebody says, hey, uh, I'm looking at the 2200, I heard that is the most feature laden Festool router. I go, I'll ask the question, what are you gonna use it the majority of the time? Well, or what am I going to use for? Hey, I want to do hinges. Um, do some uh, uh, recesses or mortise of hinges. See this? This is perfect. It works on a lot of different things where this may be a little too heavy to work in a vertical position. You want the weight for this because what you're doing is you're swinging the big bits for like maybe solid surface 
and doing big edge profiles for some architectural millwork. <clears throat> the one all beat all is the 1400 in my eyes, and that's my opinion on it, um, because it allows you to do so much with it. So there you go. Hopefully this short overall look at the Festool router system gives you a better way to make an informed decision. I truly hope it helped. And I just wanna make sure you be positive and stay sharp.